So we recently did some concrete work out here at the Exoplex. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be messing with because now it's time to finish it up. Oh yeah, time to get some time lapse on. Not a whole lot to do with this. Just some simple, you know, kind of like a little bit more wet type concrete. You just kind of belly some of the stuff in and set it up to be finalized. The wife's old steak knives. They're not so good anymore. Don't breathe this stuff in. This is a filler, so yeah, I can fill holes with this. Time to get mixing. And now it's time to get a little busy with this. Got some undercuts I need to take care of and just some general dressing up. Okay, got that part wrapped up as far as I'm going to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get up front here a little bit and start working this back. We just have to see now what I can go with here. Very little touch up on this one right here. Just a few little undercuts and a few little areas to kind of help guys get the tires up on stuff. So pretty simple. Now that's going to be fun. If you fall into that, you may be done. <laughs> Started right here with the last uh, line of rocks. 
did a pretty good bit of work right here. I couldn't just leave that blank. Had to get some kind of feature in there, right? So got me a little frowny face. Got the berm or footer all the way around it. Obviously ran out of concrete. Besides, I want to try to get some more rocks and be a little more creative right through here. Do some stacking, make some stuff go because there's some big holes in there and I don't have enough filler right now either. either. This last batch of concrete, I meant for it to be thin. But that was a little too soupy, but it'll work out. And look at all that. Definitely got lines on this side. Wow. This one, just minor touch-ups of some undercuts. So nothing major at all here. Went on around to the back side. Got a little bit up in there. Still got some holes I gotta fill, but yeah. Look at that. That's gonna be a fun climb right there. Gotta get over there and get that belly across it. It does have a little bit of a divot in it, so maybe the belly will get that pretty easy. Yeah, this is looking good. That was 22 60 pound bags of concrete. And believe me, that's about all I want. That one section that isn't done, I'm gonna plan to take some time, get some small rocks and just do a few lines across the side and then make it to where you can cross the lines up. So I'm gonna have a little bit more time with some smaller rocks, stuff that I can handle and move around. Um, as far as the finishing part goes, basically, um, when you get your buddies together, thank God I have such good buddies. I mean, absolutely. You know, Chris, Mike, Jamie, Matthew. <laughs> oh man, can't do it without you guys. So when I'm finishing up, I'm just looking for the areas that need, you know, have to have the undercut. You gotta get that ridge to come up on it. You know, things that uh, actually make things too difficult. You want challenges, but you don't want things impossible. And it's kind of hard to find that line. Now, if you're designing a course and you're doing concrete work or rock work or all that, and you're a really good driver and you have a really high-end truck that performs at the top level, you don't really need to build the course to challenge you. I mean, you can have spots in there, but if you're gonna open it up and let your buddies come over, bring their trucks, this and that, you've got to have things for stock trucks to complete but is also a challenge so you kind of got to have a mix and i feel i've got a pretty good mix out there now so and when i set gates well i got to figure all of that and sometimes i'll actually use a truck like say the trx4 sport or something you know it's not a competition level truck in the form that it's in so it kind of gives me a better feel for everybody else so if i if i if i set a course and i actually run optimus 3 on it you know and if it puts a hurting on me uh yeah you're in for a long day i mean not saying that optimus 3 is a top dog in the world or any of that but it's pretty darn good and i'm halfway decent at driving so you got to make things usable and suitable for all kinds of vehicles so guys hopefully you like the video um that kind of work is absolute work now in that description i'm gonna put affiliate links amain ebay amazon i don't have any concrete affiliate links so don't worry about that uh, yeah i could see ordering 22 bags of concrete from amazon oh that would be rough but anyway uh, check that description for affiliate links. Use those links to check out. They help out the channel immensely. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you really like it, ring that bell so you get all the new content when it comes on out. Now, uh, starting up very soon, I'm going to start a giveaway for all channel members. And it is going to be monthly. It will be a giveaway, simple, easy payment way to double your return on your subscription fees. So yeah, you might want to check that out. Guys, thank you all for watching.